The main menu bar includes a number of submenus on tabs containing the operations and tools that are particular to the spreadsheet application you are using. These are even configurable in Excel as you become more experienced. I'm going to go through only a few of these in Excel to give you an idea of what is available. Google Sheets and Apple Numbers have similar operations to the ones I'm mentioning, but they may be called something different and they may be found in a different location. There are a lot of features available in Excel that you won't find in other spreadsheets, but our intent here is to focus on the features that most spreadsheets have in common. The more you work with an application, the easier its features are to find and use. But if you aren't sure, there's always help. Here it is right on the home menu. Type in your search or just click F1. If I'm looking for something I think might be there or just want more information, that's where I go first. File operations are commands that operate between spreadsheets and your computer operating system or online environment. New we've already used to create a blank spreadsheet, but we can also open an existing spreadsheet or use Save As to save a sheet with a new name or format. Edit operations are found in a few different places, but the major ones are in the Home menu. Undo and Redo are always visible in the Quick Access Toolbar in the upper left corner which is also configurable. The Home menu includes the clipboard functions, cut, copy, and paste. A number of formatting options are also available in the Home menu. We can set fonts, data type, and more. There are also shortcuts for table formatting and adding and deleting rows and columns. We'll use these features as we need them in the lessons. Formatting your data appropriately helps you document and communicate your analysis. This is also where you'll find search and replace operations or find and select. One tip on this one, be sure you know the scope of your search or replace. Is it just the selected cell or range, the whole sheet or multiple sheets? This is one of those details that may work differently on different spreadsheet applications. For Excel, a dialog box appears when you click Options that you can use to specify the scope. Insert menu includes some special items, such as hyperlinks. One very important insert function we'll be using a lot is the chart. Creating a chart in spreadsheets is an insert operation because the chart will by default be inserted into the page you're working on. We will also cover pivot tables in a later lesson. The data menu, as you might guess, includes some important features for data scientists. These commands allow us to filter our data files, sort lists, and split columns. We'll use these data tools in later lessons.